Okay, so hello class. So for this 16831 class that is going to robotics in fall 2014, CMU, we would like to present our project, which is a pedestrian motion prediction. Our team consists of me, Dipta, and then Pranay and Rushenhua. And let's start with motivation. We like to build a system that is able to be implemented on a mobile robot application with, uh, as a human motion detection. So the idea is uh, when, a robot mo when, when a mobile robot moves along a corridor crowded with people, you should be able to detect their current motion and locate them, and also to predict their movements. And, and then we can make a decision about changing the path to avoid colliding with them. So, but in this project, we like to constrain our scope into just a human detection and predict their motion, predict their motion and trajectory. To acquire the required data, we used a SICK LiDAR scanner and an RGB HD camera, which was made by Logitech. Both the sensors were placed at a height of 1.3 meters above the ground. The LiDAR has a scanning angle of 98 degrees with a resolution of 0.5 degrees. For this particular project, both the sensors were kept stationary on the ground while the human being moved to and fro the corridor. The data was initially read by a mini computer running Linux and then was transferred to our system using an Apache interface and an ad hoc wireless network. The testing were done in the level B corridors of the new Will Simon Hall under varying environments with different lighting conditions and different space constraints. The sensor readings, the sensor readings from the LiDAR was used to derive the static obstacle map of the environment along with an accurate but a low update rate position of the people on the corridor. To separate the moving obstacles, that was the human in our case, from the static map, we compared each frame of the LiDAR with the previous, the first, and the successive frame, and removed any points which appeared to be very close to those reference points. This is the result from our recording. Over here, the red area shown in the left side is the static obstacle map. The blue points are the human's points detected by the LiDAR, and the green is the centroid of those points. As you can see, the position values from LiDAR are very accurate, but the update rate is very small, because of which we had to complement this data with a vision data, which works at a much higher update rate, but doesn't give you a very reliable position values of the person. So, in addition to LiDAR data, we can also get the coordinate of the human using our camera. So we use a uh, hog detection in OpenCV module in Python to do in order to do that. As you can see in this video, a camera was able to detect human motion here, and then it creates a boundary box, which is as you can see a green square here, and from this square we we can get the coordinate of the human, which is very closely uh, related to the centroid of this bounding box. And then we can compute the X and Z in the real world using camera intrins intrinsic matrices. The first method we use to predict pedestrian movements is the Gaussian process. The idea is that people usually walk to the right on a corridor, so the flow on a corridor usually follows a pattern. Therefore, we can treat the, the direction of movement as a function of position. By using the Gaussian process, we can estimate on the probability distribution on the direction of movement over the space, and also make prediction on it with human position as the input. We do this by first estimating the direction of movement at each observed positions of the humans in the training recordings. Then we fit a Gaussian process model. With the Gaussian process, we don't need to convert positions into grid locations. 
but the prediction can be bad if the data vary a lot. Also, the temporal relationships between the data points on the same trajectory are ignored. One popular approach to pedestrian motion and, tra and trajectory prediction is inverse optimal control. The inverse optimal control algorithm learns the parameters of an unknown reward function from a set of demonstrations. The reward function is later used in predicting the movement of the pedestrians, who are modeled as agent, agents act, acting optimally following a Markov decision process. The reward function includes features at a position, and the features we use are the distances of the human to the walls and the two ends of the corridor. For this project, we simplify the problem by assuming that the goals of the humans are known in prediction. Here are some results of the Gaussian process with the data we collected on the corridor to the elevator on the new assignment hall level B. We used 90% of the data points as the training data, shown as black arrows in this video. The red arrows are ground truth directions of movement, and the blue arrows are predictions. Some of the predictions are very inaccurate because of the nearby previous obs observations which are very different from each other. In this particular test, the average deviation of the predicted directions from the real directions is 0.96 radians. Here is a result using inverse optimal control algorithm on the recording on the same corridor. The black area is the wall. The detecting human is at the white grid. Now the algorithm starts to estimate the probability that a grid will be visited in the next few time steps. The brighter a grid is, the more likely it is to be visited. So effectively, the trajectory of the human is predicted. In conclusion, we built a pedestrian detection system with a LiDAR sensor and a camera. We applied the Gaussian process and the inverse optimal control algorithm to perform pedestrian movement prediction. The Gaussian process gives good prediction when the data is homogeneous, and the inverse optimal control algorithm learns a reward function to predict trajectory.